Next, we have uh, Darcy Olson. Hey, Darcy. Just come to the podium. Tell us who you are. <laughs> That's all right. You did good. <laughs> Hey, um, so thank you everybody for having me here. My name is Darcy Olson and I'm a resident of Atlanta. And I'm just gonna kind of ish read from the email that I sent Representative Caldwell because I didn't prepare anything otherwise. So I strongly support <coughs> Kratom being um, legal and regulated appropriately. I agree with um, Representative, Representative Hills? Jones. Jones, I'm sorry. Um, okay. <laughs> Either way, I agree with what you're saying about uh, the availability, as long as it's regulated properly. But I wanted to share my input because I feel that I have a somewhat unique or valuable, in my biased opinion, a valuable set of circumstances and experiences that you know lend credibility to my opinion of Kratom. So I'm a social worker. I have a master's degree in social work uh, from Georgia State. And I worked for uh, Fulton County DFACS for four years. I was a supervisor in Child Protective Services. Uh, right now I'm working with a play therapy group, but I was in the public sector for a while. Um, so I've worked with many families affected by substance abuse. I've seen heroin and crack and all those things, meth, um, and I've seen the devastation it can have on families, and I can see the difference between that and Kratom, especially during the opiate uh, epidemic we have in our country right now. Um, and the thing that gives it a little more credibility in addition to my professional stance is my personal stance because not only have I worked with drug addicts and people affected by it, um, I have a family history of um, drug addiction. My mother passed away in 2012 um, from uh, health conditions indirectly linked to drug abuse. She lived and died as an opiate addict. Um, I think if she had had Kratom as an option to help her manage pain and get off of Oxycontin, things might have been a little bit different. Um, but also, my boyfriend has uh, chronic health issues that on most days he's in pain, and he takes Kratom regularly. And I love seeing that he has that option because the doctors would throw Percocet at him all day, and he could take it, and he could become addicted, he could have health issues, but he has Kratom, and it's very effective. Um, I know that also because I, several years ago, um, was prescribed opiates for a pain situation, um, and I was addicted myself. And I spent five or so years of my life on and off as an opiate addict. I, I've been off for a while now, I'm doing great, but oh my gosh, if I had Kratom then as an option to ease the withdrawals and to ease my pain, it would have been a lot easier. So um, personally, professionally, I've seen it, I've seen what's bad, I've seen what's good, and Kratom is something that's good for us. 